excited to be here today to kind of present our first three projects that will be going out to bid here in um, April and May, the elementary school prototype. So what we have is a fly through of the, the prototypical elementary school. You got to keep in mind that this is still a work in progress and some of the things that you see like colors and finishes haven't been completely worked through yet. So, but this gives you a, a nice walk through of the building to kind of show some of the features that we've been working on um, over the last year. So this is approaching the main entrance of the building. To the left, you'll see the gym and family resource center. We wanted those to be focal points up front and center. The gym we've isolated from the rest of the building for after hour events for the community. So we, we can have events in there without opening up the rest of the school. What you see here is approaching the front entrance and um, the secure vestibule kind of walking into the heart of the building, which is the commons. Um, that was intentional to create wonder and curiosity as, as kids are kind of looking in rather than having it be down a corridor. So here you can see all the natural light coming in through the commons, through the media center. Um, natural light is so conducive to creating a learning environment that it um, you know, gives kids energy and of course, you know, when we have um, projection in the classroom and technology, there's blinds to be able to make sure you can see the screen and all of that. So what you're seeing now is the learning stair, um, and that was a real focal element for personalized learning. Um, we're approaching the media center here now, opened, again, part of the heart of the building. The feedback as we were working through the design process was, People are only, kids are only going to the media center during their time in the media center. We really wanted it to be a focal point of the classroom wing. As we were planning the bond, learned that a lot of kids are coming to school now with sensory issues that we haven't seen ever before. And I'm not sure what's driving that, but we heard loud and clear through a lot of our constituents that kids really need a place to kind of be out of the mainstream, but still be part of the environment, so we wanted to create um, spaces like that where they can kind of pull out and, and still be part of the room, but not necessarily out in the middle um, middle of it. Turning here to the right, this is the learning street, and that's all classrooms. You see those large glass sliding doors. The classrooms will open out to the learning street um, so that kids can have breakout sessions out there, um, the furniture is all flexible. We're not doing any built-in casework, and that's based on a six-month furniture pilot that we did. Allows people flexibility and ability to move furniture around to kind of control their own work environment, and, and kids can actually move the furniture. We have two courtyards on the exterior. Both of them are gated, so for safety and security, we want to make sure that our students are safe. Um, the courtyards will have garden boxes, um, interactive downspout and water features so that um, the building really is the third teacher, kind of showing them they, you know, where the water goes when it comes off the roof. Younger kids may be just kind of counting the number of raindrops that may fall on the roof, but the older kids can actually put a cup in it and calculate volume and water speed and really you know, have design elements in the building that show kids how our environment works. So the first three schools out of the chute are Sifton Elementary, which will be re replaced on site. The new Image, um, which will go down the street from Image, and then we have a brand new Elementary 22. We will also use the same footprint for Burton, Marion, and Ellsworth. So the prototype is um, a cost savings up front from the design perspective, but that's just a drop in the bucket. Where we really save over the long run is the ease of maintenance and having consistent um, mechanical electrical systems.